in the QS. Hi, this is Andrea Carriol with Project Geo Media today, and I am at the Touch Table booth with Mallory Delgadillo. Hi, Mallory. So tell us what Touch Table is doing here, uh, kind of contributing to the GeoInc conference. Well, what makes us different here is uh, that we bring forth uh, collaboration in real time for distributed teams. So just say you have someone working in the command center and you want to reach out to those that are in the field. Um, our software allows you to do that. And plus, we provide the, soft or the hardware that allows you to you know, play and use multi-touch gestures and actually look at your data and visualize that. So we see you have a demo to show us. Um, if you want to go ahead and move through that, I'll hold this up for you. Sure, sure. So let me show you um, our software here. It's called Touch Share. And what it allows you to do is, like I said, collaborate with people that are in distributed uh, areas. So just say Chris here is in our field, and I am in the command center, and I need to call his attention to a particular area. I say, Chris, you know what? We need to check out this area here. And he can go ahead and communicate back to us. by selecting a different color. And this information is, uh, is, is picked up in real time and using limited bandwidth, we're only transferring uh, coordinates of our markups and camera angles. So we're not uh, sending over the whole imagery. So it's very limited bandwidth. Um, another uh, interesting thing we have developed is a thing called sessions, which operates somewhat like a chat room. You can have multiple discussions taking place and I can jump in and out of them. Um, so right now I'm in the Los Angeles session. However, if I need to play a closer look at what's going on in New York, I am brought immediately to their view, and they may be collaborating, and I can go ahead and take control, contribute, mark up if I need to, and if I'm all done with that, then I can um, actually leave the session and, and go back into Los Angeles. And as you'll notice, it takes a little bit because of the slow internet connection we have here. But it will take us back to where we were at the start of our discussion. Another interesting feature that we bring forth is the idea of controlling secondary monitors. So as you can see, I have monitors up here. And just say I want to find out more information on this building. I can go ahead and just fling it to my secondary display and it's showing there. I can also integrate icons that may be a part of my KML file. And for here, we have webcams, I mean traffic cams. And I can go ahead and fling that up to my other secondary display. Therefore, you don't have to you know, interact with those. You can just all control it from here, from the central source. OK, so the hardware that you guys provide, is that necessary both forward and at home? Um, yeah, you know what, we do provide here, this large screen. We also have a smaller size, which is 32, which might be used for an analyst as a desktop application, and which also provides the multi-touch. So we, we try and provide, you know, for any area you might need it in. Okay, I just wasn't sure, like, if they don't have uh, the space or if they just don't have that, can people back at home still use your pro program and your, your hardware and support those forward? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, we are also, other than touch-enabled devices, we are compatible with COTS devices such as the Sony Bio or uh, tablets, I've, or, I'm sorry, laptops, or regular standard desktops. Um, our software installs anything that's Windows-based, our software will run on. Okay, and I see uh, you're overlaying your data and your information on Google Earth. Is that, can that be overlaid on any kind of uh, imagery server? Um, our primary applications that we are compatible with are one, Google Earth, and ArcGIS. And we have doubled into STK, provided by AGI. Um, so those are the three applications that we can help you with and our interface will lay on. So you can have collaboration with that. We do also offer an SDK if you want to integrate a different application. Great, thank you. Um, we're also wondering, that your product looks like it has a lot of uh, similar capabilities to the upcoming Windows, or I'm sorry, the Microsoft Surface. Uh, how are you guys competing with them? Actually, that's where we're taking towards a, a software base, so that way we can go ahead and operate on other hardware, our hardware platform. I'm sorry, other hardware platforms such as Microsoft Surface. We are. This is actually we're running Windows 8. Uh, we are compatible with Windows 7, so we are trying to be compatible with that, so that way you can run our our software on any hardware you have. Well, that sounds great. Is there anything else you'd like to add about your product or company? 
Um, no, but just that we are based in California, and, if, and we'd be more than happy to uh, welcome any questions or give demos. Uh, so feel free to email us or check us out at website uh, www.touchtable.com. Okay, great. Thank you very much. This is Andrew Cariola with Mallory from uh, Touch Table, and here with Project Geo.